Hey, I hate to bring this up, but I know one of y'all gonna go to y'all spout like, hey, I've been doing some research on polygamy, so get with. Let me go on here and tell y'all something. I gotta make sure that the people know the difference between polygyny, monogamy, polyandry, promiscuity, confusion, polyamorous, all of them. This is where a lot of people at right here, confused. <laughs> But anyway, polygyny is when a man have multiple wives. Polyandry is when a wife might have multiple husbands. Promiscuity is what y'all out here doing. And monogamy is what the Western culture promote but end up failing. Let me explain. I just want to make sure y'all ain't out here being childish. Polygyny ain't got nothing to do with you out here being super freaky and lustful, having threesomes and this and that. That ain't what that is. And a lot of y'all going to confuse that for what that is because y'all think having multiple girlfriends is a polygyny. Nope. Polygyny is about responsibility, meaning you're going to have to put a marriage contract or a ketuba on that woman for her security. It ain't about you shacking up with men and women because it really ain't about you. I'm talking to my young men out there. And I'm talking to them older men too because y'all some big old freaks and don't need to be. But anyway, I just had to say that because a lot of y'all out here badly represented the ancient cultural practice of polygyny. But I understand because humans can't control themselves. So first, before you even hop into any polygyny relationship, you need to control yourself first and foremost. You need to understand yourself first and foremost. But watch this. In embryology, during the process of meiosis, when 23 chromosomes come from both parents, a determining factor, the SRY gene, steps in. And if that baby become a male at six weeks, the Y chromosome start to form. If it be a female, it gonna stay a XX chromosome. If the X represent a female and the Y represent a male, check this out. Notice how the woman keeps two X's. Y'all gotta recognize that a lot of women out here confusing themselves thinking that they homosexual and really all you want is a sisterhood. But like I said, you get that confused and start thinking that you actually like women. That ain't so. This is because XX chromosome is supposed to stick together. Women are supposed to stick together. Even in other family dynamics. Because you will end up seeing sisters hating each other, mama daughter issue, mama daughter in law issue, and a whole lot of women hating each other. Let me tell you, this is spiritual war. It's time to unlearn and relearn, deprogram your mind. You need sisterhood. And this is what the sister wives in the household is all about. But I know y'all think everything is about competition. Really healthy competition is good. Iron sharpen iron. And let me tell y'all something. When you recognize how the womb or the womb on is sacred and how the woman is the garden and the man plant the seed of thoughts and ideas so that she can make it happen, you'll understand how the proper practice of polygyny historically and culturally is supposed to work. It gonna come down to understanding gender roles. And I'm not on here promoting polygamy, so I don't wanna hear the monogamists get on here trying to make a debate and an argument. Because if monogamy works so well, why do you have so many failed marriages in the United States? Old keys don't open new doors. And the detrimental culture that we done learned in this captivity over in this country obviously ain't the best practice for us. So yeah, y'all stop being freaks out there. Start putting marriage contracts on the people. Start being responsible for your children. Now I got more to say on this, but I'm gonna let it chill for now. I go live on Instagram every other night. If you wanna interact with me, tap in with the Instagram link in my bio. Big OP, big old Shalom.